In April 2015, about 500 policymakers, researchers, and practitioners from all over Europe followed the invitation of the Belgian chairmanship of the Committee of Ministers and the Council of Europe to meet at the second European Youth Work Convention in the beautiful city of Brussels. The first convention took place in Ghent in 2010. There we cast light on the diversity of youth work in Europe. The result was the first EU resolution on youth work adopted by the ministers responsible for youth in the Council. In 2015, the motto everything circled around was how to find a common ground in youth work. The answer to this challenge is wrapped up in the final declaration of the convention addressed to all member states of the Council of Europe, multilateral organizations, and institutions at all levels concerned with young people. The participants came to two general agreements. First, that youth work is about both creating space and building bridges for young people in a precarious and rapidly changing world. And second, that the two main contemporary challenges for reshaping and remaking youth work are technology and digital media, as well as mobility and multiculturalism. In particular, the final declaration of the convention makes the following eight crucial recommendations and action points. First, the new European agenda for youth work should include more cooperation between all levels concerned, European, national, local, and more efforts to recognize its value. Second, European youth work has to come to common agreements on crucial competencies and qualifications and develop suitable strategies, concepts, and programs for respective training. Also, ways of recognizing and certificating skills and competencies need to be introduced. Third, it is essential to implement measures towards a knowledge-based approach which helps developing a reflective practice. Fourth, securing sufficient and sustainable funding. It's clear. It costs money to implement and to develop a high-quality youth work which is accessible for all. Also, access to information and guidance is needed in this respect. Fifth, common ground for youth work in Europe is needed in terms of practice, standards, instruments and concepts. Mutual learning and exchange helps developing such common ground. Sixth, models for closer cross-sectorial cooperation with other sectors working with young people need to be developed and implemented. Seventh, participation is a key principle of youth work activities, where a civic dialogue of all partners concerned with the development of youth work is crucial. Eighth, it is essential to keep the spirit of the convention alive. Therefore, it is proposed to have a regular exchange of concepts, strategies, and practice of youth work leading to the third European Youth Work Convention. With these statements, the Declaration provides a clear orientation for a new European agenda for youth work. As a next step, the final declaration will be discussed in the Joint Council on Youth in the Council of Europe, leading to the adoption of a political recommendation. This high-level statement will be a new milestone for youth work because it will show the value and significance of youth work throughout Europe. It's clear. With the final declaration of the second Youth Work Convention and a strong commitment to work together with all stakeholders and key actors, we are on a good path to a common ground and a common voice for European youth work. <laughs>